Today I'm going to walk you through how to update Zebo Signage's Docker image. Um, our Docker is hosted on a Linux box. So the first thing you want to do is go to github.com, Zebo Signage, and find the releases, and then click the link, and you'll be presented with these various versions of releases. So we want to download Zebo Docker Tire.gz um, because our Docker is being hosted on a Linux server. So to transfer the file from my workstation to the Linux box, I just simply use WinSCP, the free download. And you just simply drag and drop the file, um, and that's it. Now that the tar file is on the Linux box, we're able to, to use PuTTY and manipulate the file from there. Um, this opt Zebo folder is where I kind of stage everything from. But right now the tar file is in my home folder. So if I go cd slash home slash utech ls, you will see multiple versions of it. I've already extracted it here, but that was unnecessary. So what I'm going to do is copy this to the actual staging folder and extract it there. So I'm going to cp zebo docker dot tar. And you can just use the tab key to autocomplete to opt slash zebo slash no, that's it let's do that so now we're going to change directory to slash opt slash zebo so there you can see my file uh, that we're going to extract so to extract the tar file we're going to use tar uh, Z or X Z VF SIBO Dr. Tar. It's extracted everything. So if we list that, you'll now see this folder. Um, I have actually already gone ahead and stopped the current containers from running using this command here. So with that tar file extracted, what I'm going to do now is these Docker Compose YAML files, they hold the configurations to my setup. So if I cat docker compose dot yaml, you can see I have these specific volumes mapped. Um, so this is from the local host, and this is the container itself. So you want to make these persistent so you don't lose data when you do these updates. So all the data resides locally on my Linux host, um, but maps to these containers. So on the new compose file, I need to essentially add these. So what I can do is actually copy these. And I'm going to use nano to edit the new Docker Compose file. So you can see these are the old shares. Volumes, I mean. YAML files are very particular about formatting. Um, so you need to make sure the indents are proper. There's also a MySQL volume somewhere in here that I'm going to need to update. Yeah, this volume needs to be updated as well. And I know the path is oops, slash opt slash SIBO slash shared slash db. 
and I guess that was already written for me, but there we go. So that will map my local database to the one in the container. So none of my entries on Zebo get lost. I just, um, now we're just gonna run Docker compose up dash D to trigger the upgrade of Zebo. So you can see it's downloading all the new files. All right. So they're all started up, ready to go. All right. So now you will see that your version of Zebo is now the new version 4.06 when you open up your web browser. I hope this all helped.